हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फोर्स एक्सर्टेड ऑन स्टेशनरी फ्लैट प्लेट व्हेन द प्लेट इज हेल्ड स्टेशनरी नॉर्मल टू द जेट नाउ कंसीडर अ जेट ऑफ वाटर कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम द नोजल लाइक दिस स्ट्राइक्स अ फ्लैट प्लेट which is shown here now we will write v equals to velocity of the jet d is the diameter of the jet a will be the cross sectional area of the jet so we will write small a equals to area of cross section of the jet which will be equals to pi by 4 into diameter square that is d square the jet after striking the plate will move along the plate but the plate is at right angle to the jet which is shown here hence the jet after striking will get deflected through 90 degree hence the component of the velocity of jet in the direction of jet after striking will be Zero. So the force exerted by the jet on the plate in the direction of jet will be equals to f x, which will be equals to rate of change of momentum in the direction of force. So. we will write fx equals to initial momentum minus final momentum divided by time so initial momentum will be equals to mass into initial velocity and we will write final momentum which will be equals to mass into final velocity and we need to divide this value by time that is t so we will take mass as common so it will be equals to mass upon time into initial velocity minus final velocity now if we will write this in another form that is mass per second and we can write the initial velocity as velocity of jet before striking minus velocity of jet after striking now we know that mass per second will be equals to rho into a into v so we will write it as rho into a into v and velocity of jet before striking will be equals to v and velocity of jet after striking will be equals to zero so it will be equals to rho a v square that is the force exerted by the jet on the plate in the direction of jet that is fx now for deriving this equation we have taken initial velocity minus final velocity and not final velocity minus initial velocity if the force exerted on the jet is to be calculated then final minus initial velocity is taken but if the force exerted by the jet on the plate is to be calculated then initial velocity minus final velocity is taken that is all about the force exerted on stationary flat plate when the plate is held stationary on normal to the jet thank you very much students